it's Greg here again. Last time we talked about visual mode mappings. Let's have a look. Let's talk about command mode mappings this time. I also don't have many of these. Uh, I've got a couple here uh, that are basically read line style mappings to move to the beginning and end of the, the command line. So if I print some random garbage here, control A is going to move to the beginning, control E is going to move to the end, control U already works. Um, those are things that I use a lot on the command line and so it's just muscle memory and natural for me to want to use them in Vim. Uh, this next one is something that I stole from a, a comment on the Vim subreddit. Either I stole it or I modified it in some way, I can't actually remember now. The idea of this one is that when you're doing an incremental search, like just say search for remap, if I hit tab I should be able to skip to the next match um, and shift tab should do the reverse. Um, I'll leave it as an exercise for the reader. <laughs> Uh, to figure out how this actually works by looking at the source code. I'll give a link to this in my dot files. It's not something I actually use all that often, uh, but I consider it to be a very uninvasive augmentation of the built-in functionality. And if it's uninvasive the, and the cost is low to me, it doesn't get in the way. I just include it even though I don't use it that often. The more invasive a mapping is, the more it's kind of got to earn its keep. So that's command mode mappings. I'll be back in a minute. I'll talk about normal mode mappings.